Yolo V10 is the latest state-of-the-art object detection model that has been developed by the researchers at Tsinghua University in China. So Yolo V10 introduces a novel approach for real-time object detection. So Yolo V10 basically addresses the deficiencies in both post-processing and model architecture that are found in the earlier YOLO versions, which include YOLO V9, YOLO V8, YOLO V7. So what are the problems in previous YOLO versions? So the previous YOLO models, including YOLO V9, YOLO V8, and YOLO V7, were using non-max expression technique in post-processing during inference. I will explain you what is non-max expression later on. But remember, the previous YOLO models were using non-max expression technique in post-processing during inference, which leads to inefficiencies and increased inference latency time. So YOLO V10 emulates the need for the non-max expression. In YOLO V10, we are not using the non-max expression technique. Okay, so the non-max expression technique leads to inefficiencies and increases the inference latency. So YOLO V10 eliminates the need for the non-max expression and along with this, architecture enhancements are made as well in YOLO V10, which include optimizing various model components. So, in short, YOLO V10 achieves state-of-the-art performance with significantly reduced computational overhead, and when YOLO V10 is tested on the benchmark MS Coco dataset, YOLO V10 showed, shows a superior accuracy and latency trade-off than the other YOLO models, which include YOLO V9, YOLO V8, and YOLO V7. So in this tutorial, we will see what is YOLO V10, how YOLO V10 works, and uh, we will see what architecture enhancements are made in YOLO V10, and we will do a performance comparison of YOLO V10 with other YOLO V models as well. And that's all what we will cover in this tutorial. So let's get started. So YOLO V10 is the real-time state-of-the-art object detection model introduced in the paper YOLO V10 real-time end-to-end object detection. So this paper is available online. I have just add, added a snapshot of this paper so you can review this complete paper as well. In this tutorial, I will try to present you a crux of this paper. What is inside this paper? So I will just try to present you a crux of this paper. So YOLO V10 is released in May 2024. is a new advancement in the field of real-time object detection. Basically, YOLO V10 tries to address the issues that are faced by the uh, previous YOLO models, like model enhancements are made in YOLO V10, plus our model architecture enhancements are made in YOLO V10, plus YOLO V10 addresses the post-processing issues, like the, it eliminates the need for the non-max expression. So what is YOLO V10? YOLO V10 is a cutting edge computer vision architecture designed for real-time object detection and it is built upon the advancements of its predecessor. Okay, YOLO V10 model achieves a higher mean average, uh, mean average precision compared to earlier more YOLO models such as YOLO V9, YOLO V8, YOLO V7 when benchmarked against the MS Coco dataset. So you can see over here, uh, I will explain it in detail as well, but you can see over here, this is the accuracy average precision and this is the latency. So we can see an accuracy and uh, latency and accuracy trade-off over here. And you can see this red line. So this is, uh, you can see over here, YOLO V10 outperforms all the previous YOLO models in terms of accuracy as well as in terms of latency as well. So what is latency basically? Uh, latency is basically the time taken to do object detection on an input image. So this is latency. Latency is basically the time which is taken to do object detection on an input image. So we can see that YOLO V10 uh, takes less time as compared to other YOLO models. Like you can see over here, uh, from here we can see that YOLO V10 definitely takes very much less time as compared to other YOLO models. Like uh, it uh, quickly does object detection on an input image or an input frame than other YOLO models. Plus it, you can see over here, uh, YOLO V10 gives good accuracy like you can see over here in comparison to other YOLO V10 uh, YOLO models. So uh, that is all. Uh, so YOLO V10 object uh, various strategies to tackle the limitations of previous YOLO models. Earlier YOLO models rely on non-max expression for post-processing during inference. I told you that 
uh, earlier euro models rely on the non expression uh, for technique uh, during post processing uh, while doing inference which leads to inefficiencies and increase the inference latency so the basically if i use non expression technique in post processing uh, during inference uh, basically this will lead to uh, more latency time like it will take more time to process uh, to do object detection and input image uh, and plus this will also compromise on the accuracy as well which basically comes with inefficiencies as uh, you do uh, non expression comes with some inefficiencies to address these limitations yolo v10 comes with a consistent dual assignment strategy so yolo v10 basically adopts a consistent dual assignment strategy which eliminates the need for non expression during inference and it significantly reduces the inference latency so now you can see in yolo v10 we have eliminated or removed a uh, non expression technique so by removing non expression technique you can see that our latency time has reduced uh, reduced a bit uh, or latency time has reduced significantly plus you can see that our accuracy has improved like yolo v10 outperforms all the other object detection models so non expression te technique is eliminated during inference in yolo v10 and it significantly reduces latency the inference latency while maintaining competitive performance so yolo v10 incorporates efficiency accuracy driven strategy which involves optimizing various components of the model to minimize computational overhead in enhance performance so yolo v10 basically incorporates efficiency accuracy driven design strategy so when we adopt efficiency accuracy driven design strategy so we are optimizing various components in the yolo v10 model we will discuss what components we are optimizing what in architecture enhancements are made in yolo v10 later as we go ahead so now you can see that as we adopt efficiency accuracy driven design strategy uh, so, and we enhance various component of the model so that we can reduce computational overhead and enhance performance and we can see in the graph as well like you can see over here yolo v10 those uh, models has less number of parameters as compared to other yellow models like these are in millions parameters are in millions so now you can see over here this is the red color is the for yellow v10 and you can see that yellow v10 has uses less number of parameters uh, as compared to other yellow models and yellow v10 has better accuracy as compared to all the other yellow v uh, models so now you can see that uh, we have minimized by adopting efficiency accuracy driven design strategy we have minimized the computation overhead and uh, like less number of parameters are used and we have enhanced the model performance as well so like we are discussing about non expression we have eliminated non expression during in uh, for in post processing during in france so what we are saying that a uh, yellow vitamin eliminates the need for non -exp expression during inference. So, what is non expression? So, non expression is basically a post processing technique used in object detection to remove the redundant or overlapping bonding boxes. Uh, the main aim of non expression is to retain only the bonding boxes with high confidence score and the bonding boxes with lower confidence score are stressed or removed. So, now you can see that we have detected a truck or a car in this picket image, like you can see over here. And you can see that after doing object detection with, uh, with YOLO V10, uh, what output we get is that uh, we have that object detected, like you can see over here, uh, the truck. But you can see that we have multiple bonding boxes as well. So we will be we use non expression technique in earlier YOLO models like YOLO V9, YOLO V8, YOLO V7, use non expression non expression technique during inference uh, so that they can remove the redundant or overlapping bonding boxes so now you can see there is only one truck so there should be only one bonding box like you can see over here so i did yolo models by using non expression techniques so that they can remove redundant or overlapping bonding boxes so the bonding box which have the highest confidence score among all these bonding boxes will be retained like this bonding box will have the highest confidence score than all the other bonding boxes so it is retained so so previous solar models were using norm expression technique in, during inference so that they can emulate the uh, overlapping bonding boxes but this is uh, leading to inefficiencies and it causes an increase in latency as well so in yolo v10 we have eliminated the need for the norm expression 
So here you can see we will discuss how Yolo V10 works. Yolo V10 introduces a novel training strategy and the architecture enhancement. Let's discuss the main component of how Yolo V10 works. So Yolo V10 introduces NMS free training strategy with new label assignments. So this is a snapshot from the paper. I've just added out tracks over here, what is inside the paper. So Yolo V10 basically adopts a novel training strategy and it adds provide some architecture enhancements as well or introduces some architecture enhancement as well so like you can i told you that uh yellow return eliminates the need for non-expression so traditional yellow models like yellow v9 yellow v8 employ one to one one to many assignments strategy during training which make it necessary to use non-expression so the earlier yellow models like yellow v9 yellow v8 were using uh non-expression technique or you can see that the earlier Euro models were adopting one to many assignment strategy, which make it necessary to use norm expression during friends. Which, like we use norm expression, I told you that to build out redundant or overlapping bonding boxes, which leads, leads to inefficiencies and increase inference latency. Okay, so earlier Euro models adopt one to many assignment strategy. So Euro V10 adopts a dual label assignment strategy that incorporates one to many, like Euro V10 uses the one to many assignment strategy and one to one matching approaches. Like now you will be thinking that Euro V10 adopts one to many and one to one matching approaches. Like, but you might be thinking that in one to many assignment strategy, they are using in uh, non expression during inference to filter out redundant bonding boxes, but as we adopt one-to-many and one-to-one -one matching approaches, we will not be using non-expression during inference. So what is one-to-one -one matching? So in one-to-one -one matching, the model assigns a single prediction to each ground-root instance, eliminates the need for non-expression. So in one-to-one -one, uh, matching, we don't use non-expression, okay? But uh, this results in weaker supervision or, or be causing suboptimal accuracy and slower conversion. So, but uh, if we in one to one matching, we are not using norm expression, but uh, this results in some compromise on accuracy. But in one to one, one to many assignments, uh, although it provides richer supervisory signals, uh, signals, but uh, require norm expression for inference. So, here in one to many assignments, we will be using norm expression for inference, but this leads to uh, at latency, like increased latency. So, in one to one matching, we don't. I use non expression, but we are compromising on accuracy. But in one to many, many assignments, we are not compromising on accuracy. We are using non expression in inference, but this leads to increased latency. So, how Yolo V10 addressed this issue like not using non expression plus not compromising on accuracy and also reducing the inference latency. Okay, so Yolo V10 cleverly combined these strategies by introducing an additional one-to-one -one head. So basically Yolo V10 adduce, introducing an additional one-to-one -one head and so mirroring the original one-to-many branch structure and optimization objectives. During this uh, training, both heads are jointly optimized. They bring a richer supervision from one-to-many -one -many assignments. So now this is important. During France, the Yolo V10 model utilizes only one-to-one -one head, thus bypassing the need for norm expression. So while doing inference, Yolo V10 only adopts one-to-one -one approach and it bypasses the need for norm expression and achieving high efficiency without adding additional inference cost. So this is how Yolo V10 works. So another thing like consistent matching metrics, like you can see all the details in the paper, but the crux of this is that a key component of the dual assignment strategy. So Yolo V10, as I told you, adopts a dual assignment strategy that uh, combine one-to-one uh, -one matching and one-to-many -many assignments like you can see over here. So now you can see that new label assignment strategy adopt one-to-many and one-to-one -one approach as well. But now you can see that after one-to-many and one-to-one, -one, they'll be have a constant matching metric. So a key component of the new label assignment strategy that we are adopting in Yolo Winden. So Yolo we then uh, adopted a novel approach which is called new label assignment strategy. And here we have the complete architecture, like how it works. So you can see a key component in new label assignment strategy is consistent matching metric. A key component of the new label assignment strategy is the consistent matching metric, which is used to evaluate the coordinates between the prediction and ground truth instances. Like 
can create the matching between the prediction and the ground truth. Strategy so you can see how close they are or how far away they are. Now how close our predictions are with from uh, the ground truth and or how far our predictions are from the ground truth. So now you can see what architecture enhancements are made in Yolo V10. So the component of Yolo models, uh, traditionally the components of Yolo model consist of the stem, down sampling layer, stages with basic building blocks and the head. Uh, Yolo V10 thus focusing on optimizing the other three parts to enhance uh, efficiency. So uh, Yolo V10 introduces basically a lightweight classification head. In Yolo V10, a lightweight light classification head is designed to reduce the computational redundancy in ensuring that the model appears more efficiently. Spartial channel decoupled down sampling. So uh, in Yolo V10, spartial channel decoupled down sampling is employed to optimize feature extraction, making uh, the process more efficient. And rank guided block design. The rank guided block design further streamlines the architecture, enhancing overall efficiency. And large kernel convolution. The large kernel convolution is utilized to improve the model's capability to capture detailed vision and the effective partial self retention module, most accuracy with minimal computational cost. So these are the architecture enhancements that are made in Yolo V10. So now we are doing a Yolo V10 performance comparison with other baseline models like Yolo V8. So Yolo V10 in comparison to other baseline models like Yolo V8. So you can skip this. We are not uh, using Yolo V10 B model in comparison because currently we are doing comparison with Yolo V8 models and uh, we are skipping this. And uh, we will be using Yolo V10 N, Yolo V10 S, Yolo V10 M, Yolo V10 L, and Yolo V10 V10 X model for the comparison. Yolo V10 in comparison to other baseline models like Yolo V8, Yolo V10 demonstrate improvements of 1.2%, 1.4%, 0.5, 0.3, 0.5% in average precision. Like you can see over here, here we have the validation average precision. You can compare the Yellow V10 uh, model average precision with this Yellow V8. And here you can see Yellow V10's S model average precision with Yellow V8. S model over here. And so after doing this comparison, you will see that Yellow V10 demonstrate improvements by the numbers provided over here in average precision with 28%, 36%, 41%, 44%, 57% fewer parameters. Like you can see the parameters found in million, like Yolo V10 uses 2.3, in uh, Yolo V10 N model uses nano models, you, you can use this 2.3 million parameters and Yolo V8 nano models uses 3.2 million parameters. So definitely Yolo V10 model uses less number of parameters and Yolo V10 small model is 7.2 million parameters and Yolo V8 small model uses 11.2 million parameters. So definitely Yolo V10 small model uses less number of parameters. And you can see that uh, uh, with 28%, 36%, 41%, 44%, and 57% fewer parameters than Yolo V8 model Yolo V10 uses. And 23%, 40, 24%, 25%, 27%, 38% pure calculation. And 70%, uh, 65%, 50%, 41%, 37% low really latencies, like you can see over here. Latency in millisecond, Yolo V10 is, and models, nano models have 1.84, and Yolo V8 and more nano model has 6.16. Yolo V10 small model has 2.49, and Yolo V8 small model has 7.07. .07. So you, you can see that Yolo V10 has a low latency as compared to Yolo V8. So in conclusion, Yolo V10 represents a significant advancement in real-time object detection and it achieves state-of-the-art performance in terms of speed and accuracy. So Yolo V10 introduces NMS speed training and it adopts an efficiency accuracy driven model design strategy. In efficiency accuracy driven model design strategy, we optimize various model components so that we can reduce the number of parameters and uh, get more accurate results. So Yolo V10 improves, improves accuracy while reducing computational redundancy and latency. Comparison analysis against baseline models, like if we compare Yolo V10 model with Yolo V8, Yolo V7, uh, Yolo V10 demonstrates superior performance in average precision, parameter efficiency, and inference speed. Thank you for watching this tutorial.